Hello again everyone. So for today, I'm going to show you uh, another application that we'll be creating is about the Magic app. Okay. So start a new project, click start new project and then project name is Magic app. And click okay. Then <clears throat> We wait for our user interface. Okay, we are now in our viewer, which is the designer view. So our goal is to create a magic application wherein if we click the button, uh, there will be a image that will be shown okay, in our screen. So to do that is first to click the layout. And then we see here the vertical arrangement so click and drag the vertical arrangement and change the properties from height to fill parent with fill parent okay and also the um, align horizontal is center then align vertical also is center after that we go back to the user interface um, we click and drag the button and image okay the first is we'll be changing the properties of the image uh, first is the mag uh, text so change into magic so change the text into magic then change the color to anything that you want any color that you want so i'll be choosing the yellow and the text color is black and then the font size i'll be changing into 30 and after that, let's move to the image. Okay, so first, uh, let's rename first the button. So let's rename it to magic. Then the image. Okay, um, upload file so that uh, we can add uh, an image. Choose file. For example, this cat. Click OK. <clears throat> Then click the picture here. Uh, click the cat.png. Click OK. Then there you go. There's the cat. Then let's change the height to fill parent and the uh, width to fill parent also. Okay. So you can see here the magic is now on the top with okay, the button. And then click again the magic button. Click the width to fill parent. Okay. And change the shape into rounded okay so here we have the button which is the magic and the image one and let's click again the image one and click the visible that we cannot see the image so the purpose of this application is when we click the magic or the button magic okay, the image will show up here in the middle Okay, so do, to do that, we go to the blocks. So this is the part where we will be um, <clears throat> drag and drop the blocks. So let's click the magic and click the when magic click do and drop it in the viewer. Click the image and select the set image one visible. Okay, put it here and then type true get the true and put it in the visible then uh, put it inside the when magic click true so the um, the application now will be able to uh, to visi to make the image visible when we click the uh, magic button okay so here when we click the magic button, it will show the uh, image, which is the cat. Okay, and then we will be adding more. Uh, click sensors, and then drag the access uh, accelerometer sensor, and also in the media, click the text to speech. Okay. The purpose of this uh, two non-visible components is when we uh, shake the accelerometer or the, uh, <clears throat> uh, 
our device, we can able to hear the text to speech. Okay, so to do that, we go to the blocks, and then click the uh, accelerometer. So when accelerometer is shaking, do then text to speech. Okay, so hold uh, text to speech, put it here, and then we can uh, in the built-in. Uh, click text and drag a text string. Okay. Type stop shaking me. And every time you shake your phone, okay, the text or the, the text to speech will uh, message the stop shaking me. Okay. Then we go to the designer viewer, then build. So up for QR code okay then we wait for a while so after a while uh, we we are now uh, we now have the QR code okay so we'll be using uh, this QR code on our phone so that we can able to test the application if it is working properly so here in our um, phone, we have the MIT App Inventor 2. This is this the, this is the companion. Okay, we will scan the QR code. Then it will automatically uh, <clears throat> download the application. And then you just have to install the application the magic app and open so every time we click the magic so the image will show and every time we shake the phone we can hear the uh, text to speech which is the stop shaking me okay So that's it. That it's that is the end of our tutorial for today. So uh, for the next meeting, we'll be doing some more um, applications with the use of the MIT app inventor. Okay. So if you have any questions, just comment here in the comment section of our channel. Okay. So see you again next time. Good day, everyone.